Network 27 in the bottom block shows a somatic count-up counter with reset. The top block shows the equivalent ladder logic code for reference. Monitoring is on. Each time the AND instruction I14.0 goes true, the result of that logic is true and the count up counter C5 will count up by 1. The space shown here is just for emphasis. STL code does not care about blank lines. When the AND of I14.1 is true, counter 5 is reset to 0. The load counter 5 instruction has been added for demonstration purposes so we can see the count value of counter 5. I14.0 is true and counter 5 counts up by 1. I14.0 transitions to false then to true and counter 5 increases to the value 2. I14.0 transitions to false again, then to true, and counter 5 increases to the value 3. I14.0 transitions to false. Now I14.1 transitions to true, and counter 5 is reset. Network 28 in the bottom block shows a somatic counter preset and a countdown counter with reset. The top block shows the equivalent ladder logic code for reference. Monitoring is turned on and all inputs are false. When the status of I14.3 is true, the result of the logic for the AND instruction is true. The load command is RLO independent and always loads the count value 129 to accumulator 1. The set command, however, depends on RLO and transfers accumulator 1's value to counter 6 if the RLO is true. The load counter 6 instruction has been added for demonstration purposes so we can see the count value of counter 6. The status of input 14.3 is true, therefore the result of logic is true, and the preset count value 129 is loaded into counter 6. All inputs are off again. The status of I14.2 is true, so the RLO of the AND instruction is also true. The counter counts down by 1. I14.2 goes false, then true again, and the counter counts down by 1. I14.2 goes false. The status of I14.4 is true, therefore the result of logic is true, and the counter is reset. This concludes the video STL counters.